Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Simon Arum FMC again, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a drive through through the city of Jos. And um, we made a video of such last year, and this and that year, so we make another video. Um, so we'll be starting off from Old Airport. If you know um, Jos very well, Old Airport is one of the most um, popular landmark in Jos City. So we're starting off from Old Airport, and then we drive into Jos City Centre. So let's start. Currently, this is called Yakubu Gawonwe. This is one of the longest drive in Jos. Yakubu Gawonwe, there are different locations. Um, you have like Yakubu Gawonwe and then different locations on the road. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So, um, this is Old Airport Road. Um, beside it is Poli. This road now, you, you can see here, leads to Secretariat. So this place is called Secretariat Road. And then, um, beside it, by the um, right, you have a Court of Appeal. And then, this is NT, and then the popular um, NT Park. So um, this place is still part of Yakubu Gong. We, we, we left all the port already. And then this particular place is called um, Secretarial Junction. This used to be one of the most crowded area. There used to be mad traffic here, but as after the bridge was constructed, it's resolved that issue of traffic. So this is actually the longest bridge in Jos right now. So this is this picture. Beside it, you have Hillcrest. Hillcrest is an um, American school. Um, a friend of mine made a video about it. You can check it somewhere here. So uh, this place is called Plateau Hospital. The building you can see here with red bricks is Plateau Hospital. So this runabout is popularly called um, Plateau Hospital. So once you take a cab or uh, any ride you can reach here. It's very easy to make it. So we are heading towards his station. So this is still um, Plateau Hospital. And then the building we just passed is um, Industrial Courts. So this place is called um, Kashim Ibrahim Street. If I'm not mistaken, Kashim Ibrahim Street. I will put a Google map so that you can see it well. Very accurate. Um, Kashim Ibrahim Street. I um, I know of this place for long and I know that this place is one of the oldest settlements in Jos actually. If you check out the buildings here, they were old buildings but they are being renovated. Where we're heading to is Hill Station. Why this place is called Hill Station Junction is because there's a, a hotel, one of the, I think one of the oldest hotels in Joss. I'll place the picture so that you can see it. Called Hill Station. Why? Because Hill Station Hotel is just um, upward. It's actually on a hill then. Um, I don't have footage of the road that leads down here, but it's actually on a hill and then you have the road coming down. So it's called Hill Station Hotel. So this is the junction. So Hill Station Junction. It, it actually you run about here. You know, this is um Redeem Speakers Mission. It's a big church here in Jos. Um Hill Station Junction and then this avenue, this area um where we are right now is um where you have police division, that's the A division, 
that's police headquarters in Jaws, um, opposite it you have um, Nigerian prison ward, um, um, a lot of a lot of military bases here. And then the buildings you can see in yellow is um, police student school. Opposite it, opposite you have um, the um, police barracks. Then um, this road is called uh, I can't I, I don't know the name of this road actually. If you know, you can comment below. Um, but you have PRTV. PRTV. Uh, remember in the video we mentioned where PRTV was. This is um, actually another PRTV. PRTV means Plateau Radio Television, for those that don't know. PRTV is here and we have another one in Griffin. Then um, the, other, the building beside it is um, Bank of Agriculture, BOE. So if you are enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up and like. Um, please subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I, I had to stop the video for a while and um, we'll continue from here if you miss th those places you have polo i made a video on polo so that would be i didn't cover is polo that's polo runabout from that um police headquarters down it's polo then we are at um from polo now it's apata so we are at apata so um for those that know apata apata is also one of the oldest settlement in just I grew up here as a kid at some point, so I, I know of this area very well. Um, this area is mostly populated by the Igbos. It's like when you come to this place, you feel as if you're in the east, like in eastern Nigeria. So you have a lot of Igbos here, like a lot. So this place is called Apata. I actually miss this place. It looks very. It has actually changed. So this is Apata. I don't really know much about Apata though, but this is still Apata. You can actually see that we are one Nigeria because we have every tribe everywhere. So you, you, you go to the north, you see Igbos, you go to the east, you see the house has the Yorubas everywhere. So there's no need to fight guys. We are one Nigeria. Look at look at the Igbos actually staying here, not having issues, and not just the Igbos too alone. Though. There are other tribes here, but most of the Igbos, even the streets here and, and the names you hear the names like um, Ejemi streets, Igbo man and all, and the, they are Plateau people. They are people that are from Plateau states that actually stay here. So from here, we actually um. This is also like part of Joss City and this place is just not. So I think from um, Old Airport down to this place is from Old Airport is just south, then from at some point, I, I don't know the demarcation of the road, then down to other areas like that is just not. So you can see Apata. heading to Kataku. Kataku actually means wood in Hausa. Kataku. Why it's called Kataku is because that's where woods are being sold. Woods for um, roofing. When you want to move your house, you go there to get roof. So that's one of the major markets for woods here in Jos. You know, they don't sell woods alone. They do sell other stuff like um, plastics. I think I do, I do come here to buy plastics this time. And um, plastic spoon, chair, anything that consists plastics, and then 
clothing also, like um, thrift clothing. It's called um, thrift clothing. What's thrift again? In, in, in we call it okrika. Yeah, you get a lot of first grade. We call it first grade, like um, second hand. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. Like thrift clothes, you know, I call second hand or okrika. If for short, they call it okay. So if you want to buy okay clothes, come here. You see very good ones, and you can see the woods already from here. So um, this place is mostly dominated by um, Hausa, the Hausa uh, in Jos here. Yeah? But as I said, we have a lot of people still come here, and residents, um, people reside here also. So you can see the woods here. There's no market here because I told you guys this was a public holiday. So. This is it. Um, just is relatively safe for people that feel um, justice. There's this ideology that people feel just is not safe. You just have to know your way around. So, like, just relatively safe. If when you come to just, you just have to know your way. And I feel, I feel everywhere has its own, um, everywhere has its um, downside. Thing, um, seminary. It's a seminary school for um, Reverend brothers and sisters and then you can see beside it there's a mox beside it so there's nothing happening just just is peaceful as any implies home of peace and tourism it's peaceful guys you just have to know your way as i said um this is still katako and this particular place is called um corner shagari if i would interpret that it'd be like a corner for shagari i don't know why it's called that though but I'm actually familiar with this place, Kona Shagari. So from here, I actually stopped the video. I was actually heading to the University of Joss. If you know Joss, um, this place from here now, you just go straight to the permanent site. So I actually stopped the video from somewhere here. So um, that will be all for now. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, you just watch. Do not hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 3,000 subscribers, guys. Ooh. Started a year ago, and we are here. I'm very grateful for the support, and we got monetized too, <laughs> guys. So, um, for uh, you to support me, I just need you guys to keep watching, liking, and sharing. Also, if you watch the ads on this video, since I just got monetized, you don't skip the ads. So please just watch to the end before the video starts, in case you see ad in the end of the video. So. I hope um, um, you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, um, I'll drop them on the channel. And also, I made a video recently on the malls and just which I will drop next after this video. That will be all for now. I'll see you in the next video.